What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be making a very quick, like three minute recipe, something that I make very, very often. We're gonna be making tuna salad. This is a recipe you can play around with. I like to change it up often with the seasonings, with the add-ins, with the toppings. And you can even do the same recipe with chicken or with egg. So chicken salad, egg salad, tuna salad are like one of my staples, my essentials, especially when I started keto, but still till this day. High fat, high protein, super filling. Find yourself a low carb wrap, or use some cucumber chips, which I like to do often, and you have a solid meal. I'm gonna talk about these ingredients really quickly because people might be a little confused with the mayo in particular. So it says it's made with avocado oil. We like to stay away from certain oils like soybean oil, vegetable oils altogether, sunflower oil, canola oil, and most of the mayos you'll find in store will have the... Julius. You're done. And most of the mayos you'll find in store use those oils. So when you're looking for a good, is that in the way? Julia, stop it. And most of the mayos you'll find in store, even a lot of the condiments in general, will use vegetable oils, inflammatory oils, and things you just wanna stay away from. So when I like to buy my mayo, I do coconut oil, or avocado oil, and Primal Kitchen has one that I just always go to, we always have it on hand. So that's what we're gonna be using today. It's not a mandatory thing. It's not something that'll keep you in and out of keto because it still is very high fat. It's that little extra step you're taking to increase your health, to update your diet, to just make a better choice day to day. So we got our mayo, we got our tuna, and I like to buy my tuna in packs like this, in pouches. Why? Because it's super convenient. So if I was on the go, I'm like crazy enough, you can just rip it open. It has very minimal water. And this is like one serving. This is three ounces right here. So I'll do two of these puppies for uh, a nice lunch, a nice dinner, just a hearty even snack. We're gonna use two of these tuna pouches, some mayo, and right here, this is my favorite, celery, onion combo, and then we're gonna add some fresh lemon juice. So like I said, three minutes, super quick, let's do it. There is a little bit of water, so I'm just gonna peel these open and drain them real quick. Okay, so we've got our tuna. I like this tuna in particular as well. It's the Wild Planet one. I'll, I'll be honest, it is a little pricier, but let me tell you the ingredients. Tuna, but the cans you might find in store, they have like, what is it? What do they have? I don't even know. Like, um, I've never eaten tuna in my life. Oh, like modified food starch, things like that. They just add like a little bit of like filler type ingredients. It looks like this because it's just like a whole food. It's a whole ingredient, but you don't have to. You can buy like the, at Costco, like the bulk, the big cans, so you can make it in in bulk. Okay, so we got our tuna here. I like to eyeball my mayo. I just like to go pretty heavy with it. One, two, three tablespoons, depending on depending on what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna show you at the end of my favorite way to eat it, which you guys might not know. So I've grown up eating tuna salad and chicken salad in bulk. Like I used to make big containers, like plastic containers, like this big, and I would just eat it all week long. So let's get our celery chopped. What are essential ingredients for tuna salad? Tuna and like some sort of creamy base. And that could be it. Like literally I've done that. I've even used like Greek yogurt instead of mayo if I don't have mayo on hand. And then salt. Like those are the three major components. I like to get a little fun with mine as far as my seasoning goes. I think like essential is what I just mentioned. If you can add one additional item to that. Mayo. Anything of crunch. Well, you have to pick one. What's your preferred crunch? Mine would be onion, always. But I also really like pecans. Pecans, definitely my nut of choice in chicken salad, in tuna salad, but not, no, you don't need crunch in egg salad, right? Let me I, know down below. I've never eaten any of these. Things. Rank them chicken, egg, tuna. Chicken, egg, tuna. That's, you said it right. And my favorite chicken salad of all time is from my college days and they would do like big fresh grapes and pecans. So good. Okay, and I don't normally do this. We don't normally have lemons on hand. I thought for a little freshness, we could do just a little lemon juice. 
and that could spruce it up, especially if you're making it for just like a, a single serving meal or you're serving it to people and it's like summer and you want something nice and light and fresh. So see how like chunky that is? That's what I'm looking for. I like a lot of chunk. So let's go to our seasonings, guys. Salt, of course. And you can also check your tuna. It might have salt in it. The ones that I get are no salt added, so I can like gauge it and add more salt or none at all if I don't need any, if I'm like eating it with like a lot of cheese or something. My two favorite seasonings are, don't shame me, Italian seasoning. And if you have not tried Italian seasoning on your chicken salad or your tuna salad, I think it's one of a bust. It's one of my favorites. You gotta try it. And then everything but the bagel seasoning is super good all the time. And then another third one I like to swap in a lot is curry powder. That I think goes best with chicken salad. It also makes a really good tuna salad seasoning. So we're gonna go Italian here, pretty heavy handed here. And so it's not pretty, but it's so delicious. And this would be great also on a salad, just even on its own, like this itself, like I would definitely make this and eat this on its own. So this, this bowl has like 40 grams of protein and almost 40 grams of fat. It's a really high calorie, high fat, high protein meal, which I think is perfect. I like to usually do this for lunch because it keeps me super full up until dinner and I don't like need a snack or anything afterwards either. Okay, so now that's it, we made it. So I can taste test it or I can show you my favorite way to eat it and we're gonna do that. Cheese? Yeah. What's your favorite picture on our fridge? When you're on the elevator? Escalator, I mean. This one? Yeah, that was a good one. Okay, so here we are. So this is how I ate any salad, chicken salad, tuna salad, egg salad growing up. So you take a slice of cheese, and you just make a little sandwich. I'm sure you guys have done this before. So what would you put in it? I guess you can put meat in it. Look That's at that. This is your favorite way? This is my absolute favorite way. Right out of the fridge. Mmm. And this is Swiss. Swiss goes perfect with tuna salad. Isn't cheese and fish like not yeah, something? Yeah, typically. There's exceptions though. This is it. This is the main exception. We have a shrimp scampi on our website that has cheese in it, right? Really good. Mm, to die for. So I'm actually gonna be eating this for lunch. It's 11 a.m., perfect. And so that's it, guys. Like I said, you can do this exact recipe with chicken salad and egg salad as well. And you can change up the seasonings, change up the toppings, do some pecans. What else could you do? You can even do like blueberries. You can get wild. You can do some berries in there. That would go really good with chicken salad, I think. Curry powder is a delicious go-to of mine. Barbecue sauce, even like a little splash of barbecue sauce is super good with the mayo. Isn't that like special sauce or something? Fancy sauce. Fancy sauce. So you can do a little fancy sauce, barbecue and mayo mix. With ketchup and mayo. Yeah, well, in my world, it's all fancy. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is our recipe. Link down below will tell you exactly how to make this. Feel free to just go off on your own, do your own thing. Don't even follow this video. Just get some inspiration and take it with you and enjoy your tuna salad, your chicken salad, your egg salad, because I know I'm here for it. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.